Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. This is my When Comedians Stop Being Relatable reaction. Three, two, one. Carl Comedian is a comedy legend. I'm just like you and that'll never change. Speaking of which, you got any for me? You loved him when he was broke in the 80s. Last week I found a penny on the ground and let's just say that little bastard doubled my net worth. But that's just my two cents. And you loved him after he went to jail for that one thing in the 90s. And then also after that practically non-violent thing. And then also that brief thing with the cult. I said you'll never take me alive cause I'm dead broke. Now, 20 years after after his legendary trailer park comedy tour. <laughs> I'm quite poor, you see. And after shattering box office records with Penguins, Penguins 2, and Penguins 3, 4, and 6, Ooh. he's back for his first comedy <laughs> special two decades in the making. Is this awesome. thing still on? He may be the highest paid comedian ever, but he hasn't forgotten his roots. You ever notice how much worse the turbulence is on private flights? It's like, oh, do you need the poor people to balance things out? Mm. <laughs> Gross. With that relatable brand of comedy you know and love. I tell you, it's hard to find a good personal chef these days, am I right? <laughs> Did that guy cough again? Get him out of here, that's disgusting. He's not afraid to tell it like it is. Don't you just hate when you have to get a fake ID for your girlfriend so mm -mm. she can join you at the bar? Mm -mm. That's kind of gross. You know when your unpaid intern angry. assistant is like, please sir, can I have Christmas Eve off? And it's like, yeah, you can if you want to be unemployed on Christmas Day. <laughs> oh my God. And then he shows you a picture of his kid and it's like, I don't want to see your sad home life. Boo! Yeah, the people in the cheap seats are the ones booing. That makes sense. Boo! A bunch of peasants is what you are. Peasants, peasants, peasants. I think I'm gonna need a studio. <laughs> they tried to cancel him, but he's back with an unfiltered podcast. It's, you can't say anything anymore. That's so true, that's so true. He's telling it like it is. People these days have no sense of humor. Unfiltered. And the problem is woke people and college campuses and none of it is me. 100%. <laughs> and it's scary because they're silencing us. As a side note, thank you so much for making this the number one listened to podcast on Apple Podcasts. You're really a free speech warrior is what you are. 100%. 100%. <laughs> and now here was a bland ad read about a company that has paid me $100,000 to do so. Hey, disembodied head here. Did you know that I have a whole other channel where I've been posting longer form stuff? It's true, and if you want to check it out and subscribe, that'd be mighty kind of you. And hey, when you're over there, don't to forget to tell me yes, that sir. me sent you. I'll know what that means. I'll know. I'll know. <laughs> oh, goodness. If he hasn't had an actual career instead of comedy, he certainly has something to fall back on if this whole YouTube thing doesn't catch on. <laughs> All right, well, that was my reaction. Like, subscribe, comment, share, find inspiration everywhere. <laughs>